When Steven Gerrard arrived at Rangers in 2018, he implemented a 4-3-3 formation. Almost two full seasons later, and on paper the shape appears to be the same, but on the pitch, there's been a gradual change. Gerrard's initial 4-3-3 saw two natural wingers in Daniel Candeas and Ryan Kent operating on either side of lone striker Alfredo Morelos. There was a heavy emphasis on attacking through positional rotations in wide areas between the fullbacks, wingers and box-to-box -box midfielders. After struggling to break down defensive opponents, however, Gerrard switched to a 4-2-3-1 in late December 2018. The alteration helped Rangers to a 1-0 Old Firm derby win, in which Scott Arfield both supported Morales and man-marked Scott Brown out of the game. Celtic were stymied, suffocated and beaten, and it was a statement win. But soon after, familiar problems returned. Gerrard's greatest headache in his first campaign was breaking down the low block, and in order to combat this issue, he turned to an unorthodox 4-3-3. Rather than playing with natural wingers, Rangers began to line up with two number 10s behind Morelos. The change coincided with a significant upturn in form as Rangers won six of their last seven games in 2018-19. These results effectively cemented the new 4-3-3 as Gerrard's primary system and he has since stuck by it throughout this current season. So. One of the main benefits of having two tens is that it's given Rangers greater options with which to penetrate defensive blocks. Alongside Morelos, who often drops off the front line to show for the ball, they now have two other attacking players moving between defence and midfield lines with the intention of finding pockets of space to help Rangers play through opponents. These spaces can be found by drawing out the opposition and opening gaps between their defence and midfield. Alternately, against more zonal defences, the front three's positional fluidity allows them the freedom to roam and, as first-team coach Michael Beale put it in a tweet to Rangers fans, overload certain areas. Once in the final third, the narrow front three, along with the breaking runs of midfielders like Ryan Jack, guarantees there are lots of numbers around the ball for combination play. It also ensures options to break the last line, with opposite movements and blindside runs used as methods of getting in behind. Of course, like all systems, Rangers 4-3-3 looks different depending on the players that occupy those front three positions. And in both transfer windows this season, they focused heavily on reinforcing this area of their squad. Indeed, of the 13 signings they made this term, nine qualify as candidates for number 10 roles. Florian Camberi and Sheyojo are quick and direct players who want to shoot the second they see goal. Ryan Kent, Jordan Jones and Brandon Barker are dribblers who like to go at their opposite man and relish counter-attacking situations. Giannis Hadji and Greg Stewart are natural tens who possess the control to operate effectively in tight spaces, while Joe Aribo offers more skill and is a master of retaining the ball under pressure. Then there's Scott Arfield, who brings more off the ball than on it with his intelligent movement and third-man runs. The variety of individual options and the different qualities they each bring to the table has given Gerard the opportunity to make subtle tweaks to his attacking setup depending on the opponent or the game state. Of course, the benefits to playing an arrow front three aren't purely attacking. In transition, the attacking numbers Rangers get around the ball means they can also surround the opponent when they lose the ball. Quick pressing from multiple directions helps them to stop counter-attacks at the source and regain possession. Then, when defending, Rangers set up in a compact 4-3-3, with two tens taking up narrow positions on the same line as Morelos. They shift as a unit from side to side, making it almost impossible for the opposition to play into midfield, forcing them into sideways and backwards passes where pressing can begin. As effective as the system has been in producing an upturn in performance levels, it wasn't enough for Rangers to keep the pace in this season's title race. Once again, Gerrard's men returned from the winter break out of sorts. Their attackers missed golden scoring opportunities and their defenders made basic mistakes. The ability of individuals was scrutinised, points were dropped and confidence was lost. In difficult circumstances, Gerard's unwavering faith in the narrow 4-3-3 system became a stick to beat him with, and perhaps fairly so. Rangers are a better team thanks to Gerard's management, there's no argument about that. They've also found a clear tactical identity which was sorely lacking before his arrival. But the next step will be the toughest, overtaking Celtic and re-establishing themselves as Scotland's main force nine years after their last league title.